For the civilizations that worshipped it, maize was divine. For the empires that exploited it, it was profit. For the scientists who finally looked inside it, (laughs) it was chaos. And once we put those kernels under a microscope, we suddenly saw just how complex this plant really was. So let's break it down. The modern corn genome is a labyrinth about 2.3 billion base pairs long, roughly the size of the human genome. 85% of it is repetitive code. I'm not a scientist. To me, that kind of makes it sound like useless and redundant, right? Thank God I wasn't studying it. Barbara McClintock was. Because to Barbara McClintock, that was everything that mattered. See, Barbara McClintock wasn't a household name, and she didn't really seem to care to be one. In the 1940s, she was working alone at Cold Spring Harbor. Shout out to Severance fans. It was here that she peered at stained corn chromosomes under a microscope and saw something that shouldn't have been possible. Genes that moved. She called them transposons, but her colleagues called them impossible. The idea that DNA could rearrange itself on command was too out there for the scientific community. Her papers were ignored at best and mocked at worst. She became so frustrated that she stopped publishing for nearly a decade, but the corn kept proving her right. Each variegated kernel, the purples and yellows on a single cob of our beautiful gem corn varieties, was proof that her jumping genes were real. They explained not only color, but also how organisms respond to stress, how they adapt, and how they evolve. In 1983, at the age of 81, she received the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine, the first woman to win it solo. She used her acceptance speech not to gloat, which she totally would have been within her right to do, but to instead remind everyone that a feeling for the organism mattered as much as the data, meaning that discovery begins with empathy, the ability to let another life form tell you its story. Essentially, she showed that evolution isn't passive, it's narrative. Corn mutates to survive us as much as we alter it to serve ourselves. 